Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been some time since we have seen each other over here on the beauty channel and I'm, you know, I wanna say I'm sorry, but you know, am I sorry? Yeah. I've been enjoying my pregnancy. Hey, I haven't even shown, oh. Oh, it gets in the way here. Whirr. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. This is the first time I've actually even announced my pregnancy on my beauty channel, which is so crazy. You guys have been through the journey with me on my fertility series over on the Perkins channel. If you haven't seen it, please go check it out. I will link it down below, but I have been spending most of my time over there. It's been incredible to say the least. I am so happy to be here and be pregnant. And like, I think the last few videos that I filmed here, I was so sad and just like not myself still. And I think I'm finally myself again. This is great. And I wanted to do a pregnancy Q and A, kind of just like ease myself back into makeup tutorials. Obviously this isn't a revolution, revel, revel, revolutionary pregnancy brain. This is not a revolutionary makeup look. I know that. So mostly this is just how I've been doing my makeup real quick for all my Instagram stories that you guys have seen. I surprisingly still get requests for this makeup look. It's very easy. Um, it's very quick. It's not quick in this video because I'm yap, yap, and yap in the whole time, but I just, you know, wanted to really sit down and chit chat with you guys. Oh my God, I'm out of breath. When you're pregnant, you get out of breath for everything. Yeah, that's what this is about to be. Let's go ahead and get into these questions that you guys left me on Instagram and get ready. We are rolling. Okay, let's get this party started. I have not filmed in forever. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Do I even have a channel? I don't know. Do I even have a beauty channel? I decided to do my brows on camera today. Big shocker. I haven't done my brows on camera in a long time. I decided that today is the day. I'm prepared. I'm unprepared. I she forgot how to, how to I forgot how to do tutorials. So <laughs> we're gonna be here all day. So this is gonna be a Q&A slash get ready with me. Let's go to the Q&As. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, and show you this first, the brow, before I answer questions, because this is something new. Um, I've been using like a stencil because I'm a little lazy. You know, it's just some days I just need a brow to be on. Like that. And you know, if I try to do it hand done, it takes me a minute. So I got this stencil on Amazon, okay? I will I will link it down below. But it literally just already, the brow shape is already there. And you line it up, it has like a little grid. I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics powder in, damn, the text rubbed off. I feel like it's cool brown. All right. This brush is, I don't even, this is an iconic London brush, sir. And I just really fast, you know, chuck on the shape. I'm not using a lot of product because I'm gonna go in with my pencil and really like redefine it. But this ensures that both brows are even and they're doing the same thing. Do the same thing over here. And then I'm gonna go in with my brow pencil and really like define it. I like to round it out a little bit. The only reason I'm really explaining this part is because I haven't done this in a long time on camera, so. You need to Oh uh, yeah, zoom in a little bit, will you, Keish? I'm a little far away here. Like there? That's good. All right, this is the Marc Jacobs Brow Pencil, and I'm using the shade, um, what shade is this? Light brown. And I'm just gonna lightly fill this in. Have you chosen a baby name? All right, so this is gonna sound crazy, but I think we have a name in mind. But when I tell you it was the most crazy experience when the name came to my mind because I felt like somebody told me this is what the baby's name, I felt like the universe was like, this is your baby's name. And it's not a name that I normally would have even thought of. And it's actually a very unique name, very different. So I can already tell people are gonna feel weird about it. But I personally think it's really, really cute. And I have a whole story behind it, which I will tell you guys once we, um, once we announce the name if that becomes the name, which we've already been calling the baby that. I'm just like, I don't really know if I wanna tell anyone the name until the baby's born, cause I don't want anyone to discourage me or be like, yo, that name's not cute. The name is beautiful. It's not cute, it's beautiful. 
Everyone and in meaningful. my meaningful. Everyone in my family thinks the name is beautiful and meaningful. I am scared to tell my dad because I feel like he's so into like um, biblical names and he's very traditional like that. So I feel like once I tell him, he's gonna be like, what the fuck? Because Steven and I never ever were able to come up with baby names. We've never thought about it in all of our relationship. We've always asked each other, what do you think? What do you think the baby's name should be? And we never really had one in mind. Like a lot of people have their baby names saved, ready to go. But not us. That's pretty much how I do my brow. Bam. Bam. So now I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta Clear Shaping Wax to just kind of comb through the brows. And why do you have the Fix Plus up? Because oh, I put a little Fix Plus into it because you're supposed to activate it with a little setting spray or water. Um, and this is the this is the brush also, Patrick Ta brush, which is great. Keeping on the subject of baby names acid reflux. I don't have a middle name yet, so I'm kind of still on the still on the hunt. I'm like just kind of waiting for the universe to tell me the middle name as well because I don't <laughs> I'm like is this a one-time service that you gave me this name and now I have to come up with my own middle name? What's going on here? Have you felt a little kick? <sighs> He's going to be a soccer player because all I have felt are kicks. It is the most beautiful How to fix that? The kicks are the most beautiful feeling I have ever felt. Like the kicks for me are so important because they're reassuring me that like he's okay and he's in there and he's happy and he's moving around. And now at this point, I just, every day I feel him. And if I don't feel him for a while, I get nervous, but that's totally normal. But it's like, I get such a sense of relief once I feel that, boom. And Steven has felt the kicks. He's been kicking so much and so hard that now it's like you could even see it moving. Mostly in the bathtub, when I'm in the bath, he likes to kick a lot and you could see the water ripple every time he kicks. Is this my mom's first grandchild? Yes! She's so excited, you guys. She is like ordering all this stuff. Like she's been ordering stuff since the moment we found out. It'll be funny because I'll try to move something, right? Like off the counter, like I'll try to grab a water bottle and she's like, what is it? What is it that you need? And I'm like, I'm just grabbing a water bottle, mom. She's like, no, no, I'll get it for you. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't, 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 don't worry. I'll get it for you. And I'm like, I can get, I could get the water bottle. And she'll literally insist. Like she wants to just help me any way she can. It's so nice. Impressive. I kind of feel like once the baby's born, like what are they going to do with me though? Am I going to be tossed to the side? I've been using the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer because it's just easy to throw on. This is kind of, what I imagine like once I need to get ready really fast, my makeup tutorial is gonna be because I've been trying to figure out, okay, how can I get ready like quickly and still feel really good about myself? And that's kind of what this is. It's me in training. I don't have 30 minutes for my brows anymore. Do I? Did you start gardening to help with fertility? Growing your own fruit, veggies to eat. I did not start my garden to help with fertility. However, a goal of mine has always been to have my own garden since I was in second grade because I started a garden. I've said the story before. I started a garden in second grade with my own money. Like I went to Vaughn's, I think it was, across the street from my house. I walked there by myself, very Matilda of me, like when she goes to the library. <laughs> and I, um, I bought a bunch of seeds and I took the seeds and we had like a little, patio in the back of our house and I just started planting strawberries and like a bunch of different things and everything finally started growing and I was so excited and once it started sprouting and growing my mom's like we have to move I've never been so sad I was so devastated that um I told myself that when I buy my own house because I want it to be a permanent place uh I'm going to start my own garden and that is my dream I found that gardening has helped relax me so much and it is my place, it's like therapy. It really is like, I feel like such a senora out there every morning. What's your weirdest craving? My weirdest craving, what would you say my weirdest craving is, Keish? Mm. Salads? Is it weird that like, I thought that when I became pregnant, it was gonna be my time to like just eat, eat it up, eat everything, all the bad food. 
but this is how my pregnancy has been so far. The first three months, completely vegetarian. I could not stand meat, which is, int which is interesting because around that time, I also already was trying to start to eat less meat. So it kind of worked out in my favor, but then all of a sudden, three days ago, I smelled bacon and the smell of bacon before would make me want to throw up. Like I couldn't be around any meat, red meat, like Steven would have to eat, not even at the same table as me. That's how serious it is. But um, then I smelled bacon from outside in the garden and I was like, all of a sudden really wanting it, which was so weird because I hadn't had it at all. I ate the bacon. I ate the bacon. I was doing so good. But um, so yeah, that was something. Could not eat any red meat. I'm using ginger now. I couldn't eat any red meat. And then um, I've been craving a lot of produce, fresh stuff. I love jicama, I love mangoes. Oh my gosh, the yellow mangoes are my favorite. I eat two a day, pretty much. The one thing I will say about my pregnancy so far is that it, it does bring out like a lot of the pigmentation around my eyes especially first trimester, my un my eyes were so red and they're still really red now, but they're a lot better than they were. But it it's crazy how much- They were dark too. They were dark. My under eyes were dark. So far, what's your favorite thing about being pregnant? I will say, this is, this is what I think comes to my head as my favorite thing. It's the way Steven looks at me is very special. Like, I've never seen him look at me the way he looks at me and every time he sees me with the bump. Like, it's so cute. I don't know, it's like a puppy or something. Like, he looks at me so sweet and it makes me feel so special and I, it just makes us so much closer. And then I just, I just daydream about all the things that I'm gonna love about him when he's a dad. Just, I picture him holding the baby like on his chest. I picture him outside in the pool teaching the baby how to swim because Steven used to do that for a living. He used to teach babies how to swim. I just picture so many cute things. What was your diagnosis? Why weren't you able to get pregnant? So there's, um, God, I'm already forgetting with pregnancy brain, but it's basically like there, what's the answer? I will put it here when I figure it out because I can't think of it right now, but it's just like unexplained infertility. They don't have a reason. They can't figure it out. Like my doctor said it could just have been bad luck. My, one of the nurses said, uh, maybe I wasn't creating my own progesterone as much as I needed to hold a viable pregnancy. There's so many reasons why it couldn't have been happening. Someone said, I was just wondering why you stopped filming on your makeup channel. <laughs> Let me be honest with you guys. For the first trimester, I was just so exhausted and I didn't, feel like filming makeup videos. I felt like I was lying. I was keeping this huge secret. I felt like I couldn't be honest in front of camera, like, and also just talk about makeup and not share this like crazy news. So I was like in hiding. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I wasn't really on stories very much. Like I just felt like, you know, it wasn't myself. And then also the first trimester, I was still on um, the medications that were making me you know, even though I was so happy that I was pregnant, those medications still mess with your hormones. So I wasn't fully myself yet. It wasn't until I entered the second trimester, which I'm in now, that I started to feel like me again. Like I feel like me now. I wasn't me for so long. I think I wasn't me for... Even before the pregnancy too. Oh yeah, I wasn't me for like a year, if I'm being totally honest. Like if you noticed it in my makeup videos, like it just was not me. And it was making me so sad. And I didn't feel good about being in front of camera and not being able to be myself. There were times where I would like open stories to like try to be active on, on social media and I would look at myself in the story and I'd be like, Ugh, what are you even doing? Like, who are you? I don't, I don't know. And I would turn it off. <sighs> That's really why, but I'm happy that I had that time to myself and I didn't push myself because my whole career, it's been about pushing myself, like pushing myself, pushing myself, pushing myself and making sure I'm doing everything and not wanting to like slow down. And I think it was really important for me, especially in the first trimester to just slow down and just tell myself, you know what? It's okay to stop. It's okay to like not do the most for once in your life. Like that's okay to, to, to enjoy the pregnancy, to really spend time with my family, to really celebrate that. Like 
I'm so happy and I wouldn't have changed anything about the way I did it. Like, because I can say that I was present and spending close time with my family through the whole first trimester and really getting to enjoy every like symptom and it was awesome. I've been blending forever. It's because I'm talking. This would have taken me, I would have already been ready by now, okay? I bet you people, this is gonna be like an hour long video and people are gonna be like, girl, I thought this was your quick get ready with me, but I'm talking. Let me just put a little line down my nose here. Really try to snatch it up. I actually feel like this is looking a little tired, so I'm just gonna like let that sit there for a minute. What language will be spoken to your baby? Heavy Spanish, English. I've been speaking more Spanish in my home and uh, lessons with taking lessons with my mom on topics that, like the other day we did law enforcement topic. So she did current events, what's going on right now. And we, she would tell me something in English and make me translate it in Spanish. And that was really hard for me because that's something that I don't necessarily talk about a lot in Spanish. There's a lot of terms that I'm not aware of. So we work through those together. Are you scared of childbirth? There are times, I'm, all, I'm, I'm more scared about coming home with an infant than childbirth. Isn't that crazy? Like child, maybe I just haven't thought about it as much because I'm purposely like not trying to focus on that. But um, the thought of coming home with an infant and being responsible for that infant for the rest of my life, that I'll have like, I'll think about that sometimes and I'll get anxiety like, oh my God, this little human is gonna be like, I'm gonna be responsible for this human for the rest of my life. Do you have any stretch marks and how are you dealing with it? So I don't have stretch marks on my stomach quite yet, but I'm also only in my second trimester. So from my experience with like my friends and stuff, they tend to show up more in the third for them. So I'm kind of like, I don't feel like I'm out of the woods. I'm just, maybe I'm not there yet. Um, I do have stretch marks on my boobs. I had stretch marks on my boobs naturally, even when I had a growth spurt um, in high school. So I did read that if you get them, like if you've had them on your boobs before during pregnancy, you'll probably get them. They're not like dark, but they're more of like those light, lighter skin um, marks on the cleavage area. There's certain people that are really good at doing their makeup and talking to camera at the same time. <clears throat> Jamie Genevieve. She's like pro at that. And with me, I get caught up. I wanna be in the cheese man. I wanna be talking to you guys about everything. I don't, I don't, I can't multitask. I'm a very good multitasker. But when it comes to talking and also doing my makeup, I just, I get lost. Max strobe cream. You guys already know I love this stuff. And if you don't have makeup on, you just put this on. That's what I do when I want a little pick me up. That glow from within. Put on my cupid bow. Are you worried about your body changing after pregnancy appearance wise? I think everybody thinks that like they wonder, you know, how is my body going to change? What am I going to look like? It's not at the top of my mind yet because I'm trying to do this thing where I'm only in the present. So I don't want to worry about how my body's going to look because there's nothing I can do about that right now. And I, I want to enjoy the way my body is right now. And I want to enjoy going through all these positive things. And once I get to that point, like I'll deal with that. Would you get the epidural? I personally didn't want to at first, but then I did. I'm so sorry. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys like, I'm gonna try not to get that, but no, I'm getting the epidural. That's just like, keep it real. I'm just gonna keep it real with you guys. I just wanna get the epidural. Morning sickness, if so, what have you been using to help you? I got morning sickness in my first trimester for about a week and it was very annoying and uncomfortable, but I only had it for a week, so I feel very lucky. Was I just made sure I constantly kept snacking, light snacks, saltine crackers in my nightstand because I would wake up and feel nauseous, and so I'd have to eat the saltine crackers, ginger ale, ginger gum. For my blush, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Cream Blush. This is the Petal, Petal? Petal Poppin. Did you feel pregnant before it was confirmed? No, I would not be able to tell because all the medication, this is what sucks about being, going through IVF, infertility, all the medication you take is that it gives you the feeling of being pregnant, even if you're not. So all the hormone changes, all of that stuff happens to you. So you never know because you already experience the tender breasts. You experience having to pee a lot. You experience uh, mood swings. It's like through the whole treatment, that's what you feel. So um, 
I never really knew. And I hated that the symptoms were the same with medication as it is if you were pregnant, because it always played tricks on me. Is being pregnant scary? No. The only thing that scares me is constantly, I know, especially all, a lot of first time moms, you constantly worry like, is everything okay? What was that? I feel a, a pain in my stomach, oh my God. Like those things are scary and it, and it happens often. Or you eat something and you didn't realize that it wasn't good for you and then you start to go to Google and it's like, no, you're gonna die. You shouldn't have eaten that. And those things are scary, but other than that, I just look at my body with amazement. Like I can't believe there's a human in there. I can't believe there's a full grown, well not full grown, but a full blown human in there. Next question, home birth. No, thank you. I don't know, it scares me, it gives me anxiety. We have been wearing the same pair of iconic lights all of quarantine, but in my defense, I've only gotten ready like a handful of times, so not too many. On the sides of the nose to really snatch it up and then the, cover the darkness under my eyes here. So yeah, not against them, but I think um, it's not for me personally. Do you have heartburn yet? Heartburn. Yes, 100%. I got, I went through a heartburn phase. I don't get it as much as I'm getting the acid reflux right now, but I definitely did get it. Are your feet swollen? Oh my gosh. I have, to, well, I had to go up half a size. Not that I'm wearing shoes very often, but when I do, it's more comfortable if I go up half a size because they do swell. What's one thing you hope to pass on to your son? I want to pass on to my son. Your work ethic. Your work, my work ethic? Yeah. My brother said my work ethic. Yeah, I do want to pass that on. I want him to be a hard worker. I want him to understand that he has to work hard for everything he has and he's not just gonna get it handed to him. You know, that's really important to me because I feel like if I give him everything, he, everything without him earning it, then I put him out into the world, he's gonna be like, wow, that's not how it works in the world. Like, I wanna prepare him to know that you have to earn every little thing and it's not gonna be given to you so that he can be really successful in whatever it is that he wants to do. Are you planning the kids' room already? I just started planning the baby room. Hey. I'm so excited. Okay, let me put, where's my lash glue? I'm so excited about the baby room. I kind of shared on Instagram my plans. I'm just putting lash glue on my lash line here. It's, it's my Ray Ray taught me this. Makes it so much easier to put on lashes like day and night. It's going to be obviously a very peaceful place. I want to keep it as, like I don't want to go too crazy with baby stuff because I know that he's just going to grow out of it really soon and he's going to want like a toddler room and like a little boy room. But I think I like the color sage. A really pretty sage moment. I don't know. Neutrals, wood. Like I want it to feel like a na nature environment. Will you record your labor? I will record my labor. I will be that person. Uh, will I post it is a totally different question. I don't know what I'm about to be like in there. What if I like <gasps> smash my lash? Um. I definitely want to, I record everything you guys because I want memories for myself. I want to know, remember what it was like going through that and I want to watch it again because I feel like when I'm in it, I'm gonna be in it and I won't really know what's going on until I watch it again later. What gender would you like to have next? I don't even care anymore. I used to only see myself having boys because I have all brothers and I felt like that's what was natural for me but now I really just don't care. I really want to have a girl because I know Steven really wants to have a girl. And you know they say the girls are like daddy's girl. I, I just really want to experience that. But if we have just boys, I'm totally okay with that as well. What was the most unexpected symptom? The most unexpected symptom, here's a couple of things that I feel have been unexpected. Um, for me during pregnancy that I didn't feel like anyone told me before. Bladder infections are common during pregnancy. That's been fun. People told me your areolas get bigger, but they also get like swollen. My areolas have been swollen. 
and it freaked me out. I, that's why I had a nightmare that my areola fell off because I freaked out when I saw it. I didn't know that my, I guess I didn't think about it, that my pelvic bones were gonna feel like they were being spread open with a torture mechanism. Something medieval. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like I, I just, I guess I always thought, when I thought about being pregnant, I always thought like, oh, the pain is gonna come when I'm giving birth, but you have so much pains in your body while growing the baby that it's just something I didn't think about personally as much. That's all well, I got so far. If I remember any other ones, I will let you know. That's one thing you can't wait to do with your baby boy. Oh my God, I can't wait to garden with him. <laughs> I can't wait to go to the beach with him. I can't wait to, those are the two things I think about. Like, I imagine us out there picking produce together. Him being so excited when he sees something grow or like planting something with him. Give us a name hint. Every, a name? Everyone's like, give us a name hint. Ugh, the name hint. Don't know, you guys want a hint for the name? Right now, it definitely has something to do with... It's linked to a memory, a very fond It's memory. linked to a very fond memory, that's a good hint which is like very vague, but I'm gonna use my Fenty bronzer and Private Island. Are there any scents that you can't stand anymore? Like present. Oh, scents, yeah, you're, okay, so another thing that happens is you have such a strong scent. I could smell anything when, and you know, we had first gotten Charlie and he's being like potty trained and his shits smell so bad like when I tell you guys, I've never smelled a stinkier poop and it was a mess. Like he would poop in the bedroom and I would smell it and then I would get up and look for it. I found it and then I would want to throw up. And then I would run to the bathroom thinking I'm going to throw up. It was like a terrible chain reaction. But um, any sense, also like sense of red meat in the beginning was like really hard for me. I could not stand the scent of red meat. Um, was the idea painful? Well, not the procedure itself, you just cramped. But I will say the shots were painful. You get used to them. It just becomes something that you have to do. And you just kind of get used to them. But yeah, they are a little painful. How do you picture his personality? Oh my God. How do I picture his personality? Hopefully funny outgoing and really, really nice because Steven is such a sweet person. Steven is literally the sweetest person in the world. Like he's the nicest person. You'll never meet anyone nicer than him. Like he cares a lot about other people. He cares about people's happiness. And I feel like he's going to get that from him, but he's gonna be a little chingon because of me. Does breastfeeding with implants freak you out? Does breastfeeding with implants freak you out? Kinda. No, there's definitely always that fear, like what if you can't breastfeed? Um, but again, I was told it would be fine, so we'll see. My mom had didn't have as much milk, she had let me know, so hopefully, um, I mean, hopefully that doesn't happen with me, but I'm her telling me that kind of prepares me, so it is in the back of my mind. For the people of YouTube, do they know your um, birth date? My birth date is October 17th. I have not said that anywhere yet. October 17th. What's crazy is that my Halloween party was in October. That's when the psychic reader told me that I'm having a baby sooner than I think. And now our baby boy is due in October. So exactly a year from when she told me that, I will be giving birth to our baby boy, which is really crazy. Has exercising been more difficult now that you're pregnant? Oh my gosh, yes. Exercising while pregnant is very hard, especially first trimester, forget about it. I didn't do shit in my first trimester. I maybe exercised like once, twice. And it was like the weakest excuse for an exercise. When I tell you exercise, I mean I tried and I was like, 10 minutes in and I just said, you know what, forget this. But now I'm starting to exercise more. I have a trainer, she's amazing. She was my trainer before quarantine and she also had given me workouts 
for a pregnancy, which really help. I actually just told her that she should make at home um, pregnancy videos on her Instagram so that I could share them with you guys because a lot of people ask me like what's safe, what's not, and she's very, very good at knowing and um, she helps me make sure that I'm doing everything right and not hurting myself or the baby. Are you planning a baby shower? How is that going? You guys, I'm not planning a baby shower yet. I want to have one, obviously, but I also don't know. There's so much uncertainty with everything going on that I'm like, can I have a baby shower? Like, maybe I'll just do one with like a really small one with like really close friends and family and we'll be extra safe. I'm just on the fence right now. Like, what, what do I do? Do I start to plan it? I'm not sure. I really want one though, so. Let's see. Why does it feel like the blush keeps disappearing on this side? Oh, oh I think it's the... Uh, the lighting? Moisturizer. What? No. My blush is disappearing, Marky. Oh. What's I'm going sure. on here? A lot of people are asking about hair loss if you're experiencing it. Hair loss? Yeah. What the hell with my blush? This is, this is weird. This is very weird. Literally, I feel like no blush is going onto my face. Do you think it's because of the strobe frame? No. This is how I've done my makeup every day. Something weird is happening. You know what? This video isn't even about the makeup, is it? Is it? Is it really? This is a very basic makeup look. I don't know what just happened to my blush, but let's just pretend it didn't happen because I don't know what to do about it now. It's literally not staying on. We'll fix it. Folks. We'll fix it later. <laughs> how do you think your dogs are gonna react when you bring your baby home? Okay, so this is how I think the puppies will react. This is my prediction right now. Cannoli will be the best with the baby because Cannoli has always loved babies. She's loved all my friends' babies. She's a baby dog. Harper is up in the air because Harper, she might be very jealous of the baby because Harper's so attached to me or- Super protective. Or super protective of the baby. It could go either way. And Charlie, I think, will be a really great puppy for the baby once the baby's a toddler. But I'm not sure how Charlie's gonna be with the baby as an infant because he is crazy. Hi, pregnant mom here too. I've been experiencing a lot of vivid dreams. Just wanna know if you've been experiencing the same. Oh my God, pregnancy dreams are insane. Pregnancy dreams? Y'all, when I tell you I've, you'll never have more vivid dreams than you do when you're pregnant, it's insane. It's like you're watching a full-blown movie. You have a beginning, a middle, an end, and you remember everything when you wake up, and it's just unreal. Like, freaking crazy how realistic these dreams are. I mean, I woke up, I had a dream my nipple and my areola were falling off and it kept falling and I kept having to pick it up and like slap it back on like it was Play-Doh. I had another dream where Steven cheated on me and it was so devastating. Like, and I, the whole thing, I saw it all go down. I confronted him in the dream. I like left him in the dream. And when I woke up, I was so angry that like I looked at him and, I, and he, he woke up and he looked at me and I was just like, and he was so confused. And I said, you gonna cheat on me? And in the dream, I was pregnant and he cheated on me pregnant. No, no. What the hell? I'm gonna put a little, a little fuego dose of colors here. Um, this next one, not a question. I just wanna say congratulations to you and I'm so happy for you, Rob, Edie, Christy, and Cezanne oh. being pregnant. I can't tell you guys, that's a very sweet comment. They said they're very happy for me, Rob, you, Christy, and Cezanne for announcing our pregnancies. And honestly, I watched Christy's video and I cried. Like I felt so much happiness for her. Cause I mean, and when, and when she was hurting, it was like, I felt the hurt. Like I knew, I knew. And when she saw that she was pregnant, oh my God. I loved that. And Cezanne being pregnant. It just sucks that we don't all live close to each other because we're all gonna like be close in, um, our babies will all be close in age. And it would be really cool to have like more prego mommies that 
are close in age with my baby, Melissa Molinaro is having her baby three months before me. So we will definitely be having play dates. And the thought of that makes me so much. You know what I think is happening is that I have these little red dots here and it's making it look like I have more like a blush cluster right there instead of, no, it's the blush. It's the freaking blush, it's the blush. Let me try to cover those a little bit more. See what happens. Okay, what's next? How far apart in age do you wanna have your kids? I am enjoying pregnancy so much that I might just knock them all out. But who knows? If I didn't, okay, I'm answering without experiencing having my first child, but ideally I would want all my kids to be two years apart. You know, two years, me and my brother, Keish, are all of our, well, my older brother and me, Michael and I are five years apart. Four years? Four years apart. Mm -hmm. Marky, you and I are five years apart. Mm -hmm. Then you and Danny are a year and a half apart? Yeah, a year. And we're very close and we're five years apart. So I feel like anywhere in the two to three range, depending on how I feel after I have this baby, like. If it's something I wanna do right away, I'll just kind of feel it out. Strip down, you already know. Max strip down. Oh, one thing. Does anybody know? I'll blend this out later. Remind me. <laughs> um, I noticed that I have been getting these like little, it almost looks like blood vessels along my lip line. Like little blood dots, it looks like, along my lip line since pregnancy. But that's something I've noticed. If anyone knows what that is, I gotta remember to ask my doctor about that. Doula? Some girl's asking if you're gonna have a doula. Okay, what's a doula? So, I just found out what a doula was. A doula is somebody who makes your birth, and obviously, like I briefly just found out, so. A doula is someone who helps you through your birth and makes you feel comfortable and is there for you to be your support system during the birth at the hospital. Um, she said, like from what I picked up on, a midwife is more on the medical side. So a midwife is very common in home births because they can actually like, deliver the baby. They know more medical things. And a doula is more there for your support. They help you through the pregnancy in the hospital. Of course, COVID going on, I haven't even thought about having anything like that. I never thought about having a doula anyways, but um, Definitely now with COVID, it's like, I'm just happy if Steven can be in. Urshwear. But maybe if I put a little setting spray, it'll fix this blush situation. I promise you, this makeup look usually takes me 15 minutes, 10 minutes. It's so fast with the stencil, the eyebrow stencil and everything, but you know, I'm just chit chatting away here. I've been using ColourPop electric feel. It's not that nude. It's more of a pinky tone, which is very different for me because I usually like a really nude, but I feel like with pregnancy, I've been loving to play up like the blush tones in my cheeks and like the lips and make the skin really flush so that you feel very fresh. So I've been using this, but I don't like go in. I don't go in like heavy. I kind of just pout it. Do you have any pregnancy insomnia? I had it real bad with both of my two boys. Pregnancy insomnia? Uh, no, I don't have pregnancy insomnia yet. I tend to fall asleep very easily, but I wake up at least, at least three times a night to go pee. I have learned to like sleepwalk and pee at the same time. Like I don't know how I fall back asleep. The only time I can't is my 6 a.m. pee. After the 6 a.m. pee, I am up. I am up, up, up. How did you find out about the gender? A lot of people wanna know how I found out about the gender. I thought I put that in my episode. People want like a dramatic reveal with the gender. However, I didn't really have a dramatic reveal with the gender because this is how it went down. So for anyone here on YouTube, on this channel who, who didn't know, um, going through IVF, you have a choice to pick what gender you want, or you could say with IVF and the embryos that we got, I only had one girl. So um, this was my first time trying IVF and the, I wanted to do 
the process without a mock trial. The mock trial would have made it to where I would have had to do everything you would do with IVF, but then in the end, not actually implant the embryo just so that they can track you and see how you know. I don't want to do that. If I only had one viable embryo, I would definitely have done that because then I knew that if it didn't stick, like I'm screwed, I only have that one. So I would have wanted to take every possible precaution. So I had told the doctor, you know what? I don't want to know the gender. I just want to, um, I just want you to just pick whatever you want. But since I knew I only had one girl, I already kind of knew that he was going to put in a boy because I had more boys to spare than girls, if, if that makes sense, right? So because I said no to the mock trial, I already knew in a way that he was going to choose a boy. So I didn't actually ever have a big reveal. I just kind of, or I just knew. So the biggest reveal I had was when in a video clip where we got to see his, his winky and she was like, whoa. Whoa, it's definitely a boy. And I said, and Steven was in the corner like this. <laughs> Are you gonna add the nursery reveal to your home series? I think the nursery reveal will actually be in my, my Perkins channel episodes. Don't you think that would make more sense over there? Because I think I want to document the whole pregnancy on that channel. Yeah. I assume that I'm gonna be vlogging from beginning to end that whole, that whole process, so the reveal would have to be over there because I think it would be weird then to just not reveal it over there. In the future, can you do a hospital bag video? Yes. I'm also pregnant. If you are currently pregnant, let me know in the comments down below because I think it's always nice knowing and asking each other questions. But yes, I will, the question was, will I do a hospital bag video? And yes, I will do that. Once I figure out what's gonna go in that hospital bag, I need to ask questions. I'm gonna ask all my friends and see what I need. I'm about to go through my first round of IVF. Is there any words of wisdom or advice that you could pass on to me having anxiety right now? Okay, you're gonna go through your first IVF. Well, congratulations, that's like very exciting. It is also very nerve wracking and scary and uncertain. But the one thing that helped me when going through IVF was just telling myself, this is just what you have to do. It's just your path. Because oftentimes I would try to compare myself, like why is it so easy for this person and they don't have to do this and I have to do this. And I just found that it never helped. And that statement alone helped me through everything because even when I got negatives and things weren't working out for me, I would just get, the, the doctor would just tell me what the next steps were and I would just tell myself, this is just what you have to do. It's just what you have to do and there's nothing you can do about it, but continue to be strong and push forward and know that like, this is just it. Um, try not to worry too much. I mean, that's impossible. So that's just me trying to comfort you, but I know that's impossible. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the only thing I can say. Just continue to say that. It's just, say that to yourself all the time. This is just what I have to do. Just what I have to do. And it helped me a lot. All right, guys. So that was it for my pregnancy Q&A slash, like, was it really a makeup tutorial? I don't know. We had some bumps in the road there, but we made it out. It's fine. Uh, mostly this was a pregnancy Q&A and just kind of a welcome back to my channel video. Uh, sorry I left you guys over here for so long, but uh, I'm back. And uh, if you guys have any other questions, leave them in the comments down below. If you um, are pregnant and you have any suggestions of anything, also leave them down in the comments below. I've learned so many things from reading DMs from you guys about pregnancy and products that I should get, and it's been really amazing. So thank you for that, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!